The following is an exclusive presentation of Cablevision local program. TV that's close to home. Coming up on Cablevision's Neighborhood Journal, we find out why kids are all smiles at summer camp, and then we see how parents stay in touch with their hospitalized newborns. These stories and much more from Valley Shepherd Creamery, next. And now, in our next story, we meet two men who literally put a charge into cars. It's a mechanical part that helps keep car emissions clean. For Samuel Burlam and Mark Ringen, mutual interest in preserving the environment led them to start a business. Was this easy one or? Oh yeah, this was nice and easy. That's good. And now they have started Extreme Energy Solutions, creating their own standards to help consumers and fleet vehicles to become more environmentally friendly. We will take the gases that would normally be routed to the atmosphere, we'll run it through this catalyst system, and then we will reintroduce it into the vehicle. With fuel costs hovering at almost $5 per gallon, there remains a quick return on investment for those who purchase Intercharger. Um, up till now, I mean, it's a pollution device, and it's the, the amount of pollution that you're reducing is incredible. So because seeing is believing, we had Mark install an intercharger in a Ford F-150. Basically, all we're going to do is we're going to unhook this tube. That's our, our unit. Okay. It is directional. It has to go in in a certain direction. And then I'm going to do a little bit of, a little bit of change in here. It's an emissions, it's a catalyst device. So basically all it's doing is the car companies have put on a PCV system that takes your crankcase emissions and flows it into the truck or into the vehicle to be reburned. It used to be just let out into the atmosphere. Uh, due to the EPA, we don't do that anymore. So all we're doing is we're taking those gases and we're just changing the composition of those gases. If you can see this, the hydrocarbons are uh, 51 parts per million. Prior to the installation, right, the he took an evaluation of the pollution in the vehicle. After, we let the car sit outside and run for about 45 minutes to see if there were any changes in the readings. Now, after 45 minutes of the intercharger being on this vehicle, right now I'm running hydrocarbons at five parts per million. So we've reduced it by 90%. Another question Intercharger brings up is what's better, spending $400 on the charger or paying $40,000 on an eco-friendly car like a Prius? Well, basically what happens is it's, the difference between this and getting a Prius or something green like that or a Volt is you still have your same vehicle that you originally had. Right? And, you're, and, then, and if it's running clean, nobody can complain that you're driving a big old pollution gas hog. Eddie Dunn, a councilman in Vernon, says he has a passion for cleaner technology and purchased an intercharger to put in his truck. He says you can go green on any machine. Well, I've, I've always been a, a fan of Sam and Mark simply because the technology is pretty phenomenal. First, uh, I'm a green technology enthusiast. I've always been. I've always been looking at these kinds of technologies. And when I first met these guys a few years ago, it was really around the idea of how do we do something from a local level and also at the same time advance the cause of green technology in New Jersey and beyond. So as I got to know these guys, they've had a number of interesting products that they've had and this one has been a real viable one. Not only does the device promote green standards, but it also will be made in the USA. One of our company's initiatives is the job creation piece. Uh, we believe in community investment, investment in our county, in our state, in our nation. Uh, products are all made by Americans, uh, developed by Americans, and we like to keep those jobs here. And we, you know, we feel that it's very important to play a role in uh, not only just job creation, but helping the economy, 
uh, rebound from these hard economic times. And to sports, Jody Coombs so from Ogdensburg says she so sees a difference in her ride. Uh, approximately 15.3 before the intercharger and I do use a fuel additive and it's at least 19.6, 19.8 miles per gallon now. So it does save me a lot in gas. Mario Alvini, a salesperson for Extreme Energy Solutions, grew up in the eco business and knows the importance of going green. We want to be specialists and make sure that what we put on there works. And we're going to be diligent about testing every product out there and make sure it works. And if it doesn't work, we're going to let people know about it, what it works and why it doesn't work. Extreme Energy Solutions, making green mainstream. If you are interested in learning more, just go to ExtremeEnergySolutions.net or you can give them a call at 570-228-0775 or you can even shoot them an email at Extreme underscore Energy underscore Solutions at Yahoo.com. As always, remember, this is a show about you and your community. That's right. Do you have a story idea? We'd like to hear from you. Contact us at 201-644-2700 or email us at clp2 at cablevision.com. Well, that about does it for this edition of Cable Vision's Neighborhood Journal. We hope you enjoyed your tour from Valley Shepherd Creamery right here in Long Valley. That's right. Tune in next time when we visit the Hopper Gutchess House Museum in Upper Saddle River. Well, thank you so much for watching and keeping it close to home. We'll see you next time. You're watching Cable Vision Local Programming, TV that's close to home.